the greatest irony in the case forever, okay? So I've bragged about Judge Sullivan for years. Everywhere across the country, bragged about Judge Sullivan for requiring the government to produce Brady evidence in the Ted Stevens case and dismissing that case on the government's motion because they had hidden the evidence that showed he was innocent. So I file a lengthy, I think it was probably, I don't know, 45 or 50 page brief asking and detailing all the Brady evidence that the government was hiding in this case, including DIA, Defense Intelligence Agency briefings, where General Flynn had told them about all his foreign contacts before he even made them. He told them about his trips to Russia and, and had them brief him on things they wanted him to collect for them while he was over there. And, and then reported back to them immediately. He briefed them on his turkey contact. He pre-briefed everything he was doing religiously. And there was nothing secret at all. And his company had even filed what's called a Lobbying Disclosure Act form to comply with the FARA registration requirements on advice of counsel back when they first started doing anything related to turkey. So the, the whole thing was blown up from nothing. So here I've been bragging on Judge Sullivan. I filed this Brady motion that is as solid as it can be. The government replies, there's no Brady, there's no Brady, there's no Brady. He pled guilty, he pled guilty, he pled guilty, which has nothing to do with it. Judge Sullivan's Brady order requires the production of Brady even after somebody's pled guilty. And a prosecutor's Brady obligation continues even after conviction and sentencing. So that made no sense at all, and I thought surely Judge Sullivan, of all people, is going to give us at least the actual documents that the government itself has listed as having information that was favorable to the defense. And I also thought he'd give me a security clearance to review any of the things that the government had deemed, quote, classified, end quote, which turned out to be, you know, we find much later as evidence of their own guilt is a lot of what they had classified. And that's what I expected to find. But what I didn't expect was for Judge Sullivan to deny every single Brady request a document we asked for, every single one, in a 92-page decision that was just raging. I, I was flabbergasted. Thank you.